Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Diana Mbuvi. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, if you're a returning subscriber, a regular, regular, if I may say, thank you so much for vibing to my content. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and all the good stuff that you're doing. If you've not subscribed, please make sure you do subscribe so that you can join this family. This family is called Glorious. Yeah, so after that, you'll be called a Gloria. Then once you join, you'll be able to know the advantages of being a Gloria like me. You just have to join first so that you can know. As an, otherwise, I'll tell you. So, as the title of the video star says, um, I am doing a favorites video, which is a very co common video to be done here on YouTube. I never thought actually you see the ningin kona favorite things but i i did a poll on instagram a few weeks ago and someone suggested that i do this video so this is for you i don't remember i'm so sorry because it was quite some time back so yeah i'm just going to show you some of my favorite things that is clothes bags shoes accessories if any and some of my body products so without mumbling a lot let's get into the video i am going to start products so the first thing that i have right here next to me is this perfume it's the michael's okay i saw this uh mostly with zara zara influences me a lot guys and i got it off junior i got this i'm not sure this one is which number but i got number one and number two so of the two one is my like one is number one and it's not this one that i have to so probably I need to buy both of them again so that I can know which one is my number one. But currently this is one of my favorite perfumes. At the time I bought it at 500 bucks so it was very very cheap. Okay, affordable. And it lasts very very long. Like for 500 bucks, this is a very good perfume. And it smells nice, smells very very much. So this is how it looks like. I, I think the box, the packaging had more details because it was literally nothing else on here that can tell you anything about this perfume other than the brand and the number of emails so yeah this one is it then i am going to move on to my body we just move um i'm going to move now to shower gels and lotions this shower gel oh guys i have an everyday shower gel and a special day shower gel this is my everyday shower gel and it smells so nice to me every day. <laughs> not that I'm saying I'm not supposed to smell nice every day, but it has a very, very good scent for the price. I got it at either 250 or 350 at Chandarana. It should not be anything more than 350 to be quite honest. And it does come in other scents, but I like this one more. It's more feminine and it smells like bubble gum and flower flowers and it's sweet I, I like I like how it smells and it lathers just quite well for the price and it's actually okay so if you're looking for uh, an affordable everyday shower gel or even special day shower gel depending on what your everyday and your special day is this one highly recommend so when you shower with it your bathroom wow it smells so nice now let's move to my special day shower gel. This is my special day shower gel. It's by a brand called Sweet Something KE. I'll definitely tag all the brands that I am able to on the screen or on the description box, whichever I find easier for me. So back to my special day shower gel. It has a woody scent. It smells very, very expensive, very, very rich, and it leaves your bathroom with a very nice scent and another thing is how much it lathers gosh it lathers so much it smells so nice this one is definitely a more mature more grown scent it's not babyish guys it costs a thousand more if they've not changed um then now let's move to my body so i've probably mentioned somewhere in another video that lately i just feel like taking care of myself like i just want to be those lotion girls those perfume girls who have a million lotions and a million perfumes so i think i've started a collection on, on all of those things and this is my 
newest and latest lotion addition if i may call it a lotion i like it i i love love it i general i have really really dry skin like body you know your face could be normal and oily but i don't want to describe myself like that like exactly like that but it is kind of like that so to keep my legs very moisturized and very very soft this is what i add onto my lotion and then it also leaves you with some shine not some a lot of shine like and it smells also very very nice it has a um, cocoa yes chocolatey so is it so wrong. yeah it has a chocolatey scent and you can definitely use it by itself far or like that way now let's move to my skin my face um not to brag but or not to sound influencer-ish but i get asked this question a lot what is my skincare routine and this is always my influencer answer i actually do not have a skincare routine and it is very very true um sometimes I do like like those 10 steps sometimes that guys it could be once in three months for real for real and I hate that about myself like I have tons of face masks and clay masks just kept somewhere because I forget and then I'm like um my skin looks good right now I don't have to do that but really you need to take care of your skin anyway these three products that I am going to show you here I use them every morning so um kind of contradicts with what I said about not having a skincare routine. I would say this is somewhat a skincare routine because I have looked at some pins on Pinterest saying that what I do in the morning with these products is morning skincare routine. Which, yeah, I'm doing amazing, sweetie. Yeah, so there are these products by Korean Cosmetics KE. From the name, they, they sell Korean based or Korean or okay korean based products and they send them to me as pr some time back and they've never run out thank the lord but yeah and i hope they've never expired because i just be putting them on my face so there's the emulsion the toner and the small tin is a moisturizer of course to moisturize they are uh, snail products they are snail products and i also got the soap which i've been looking for i've not had time to go to their shop to get it the soap really helped with clearing some brushes i had on my forehead because i used to use it every morning so maybe if that's something you're struggling with or you'd want to clear i think you could also be wrong if you want to clear maybe rashes on your forehead you can try their cleansing soap it's just a basic bar soap when you go to their page or when you go to their shop because they actually have a physical shop and you tell them you need a cleansing okay a cleanser they will show you so Maisie please 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 and this is what I use in case you know somebody else wants to ask me then the other thing for my face is my my makeup um so I started wearing makeup maybe two years ago, if I'm not wrong. It's not like I'm the best doing my makeup. Sometimes I feel like it's not so good. If I get compliments about it sometimes. But yeah, I'm still improving and learning. So this is my favorite primer. It's by e.l.f. And it's an illuminating face primer. Now, I have another primer that's also an illuminating primer, but it's totally different from this because this one like you see that texture of a doll like those baby dolls we used to play with when we were kids when you apply it it leaves your face like that and it leaves gold pigments on your like all over not like just one place utakuwa ni kama umepaka kitu kona gold yes so it's this one it's not moisturizing i just love it because of the gold things it leaves on my skin for before i put this aside i i got this as a giveaway and i don't remember it very very well but you see those pages that sell legit makeup like 
like the original original makeup products you can get this i am so sure so now let's move on to my foundation this is my favorite foundation like actually this is the only foundation i have ever put on my face no competition against it like i cannot say when i compare maybelline to something else something else is better than maybelline no to me it's the only perf like it's the only but perfume it's the only foundation i have ever used on my face i wish some men could say that about their love lives but yeah this is the only foundation i have ever used and swear by it it's what i'm currently wearing i like the coverage and most importantly i like the price so if you don't know you are what is this color the, your shade just go to a beauty or makeup store tell them to shade you and then after you know your shade buy from that makeup store and then after that just move to jumia <laughs> yeah now to my lips um to my lips again not to sound cliche but i get asked this question one too many times which red lipstick is that you're wearing where did you buy it who sold it for you how much is it this is the lipstick this is her i hope she's clean <laughs> it's the queen actually it's called the queen it's not just queen it's the queen by huda cosmetics but i've just checked her page right now huda cosmetics does not exist anymore so i want to believe it's available at the other page something but it's by huda as long as huda is still selling makeup and whatever else she sells i believe this will still be available it's but it's called queen by huda huda monroe yes and then my other favorite nude lipstick i'm actually a lipstick girl it's very very rare for me to wear the gloss like today so not me but it's kind of growing on me also anyway my other favorite lipstick is this one it's a nude lipstick uh by nancy moi of Sh of shop nude level it's called calm baby calm it's just a brown nude lipstick so if you like nude lipsticks I, 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 I like them. I like. I really, really like this new lipstick. Every time I wear it, it lasts very, very, very long. It doesn't transfer. I don't get those lipstick stains and all that, whatnot. Yeah. So we are done with that one. The next lipstick is this one. Um, it's number seventy-five Fighter by Maybelline. It looks kind of orange. Um. And there's a day I mixed it with this one. Oh my god. Oh, it looks so, so nice. I realized I really, really... Either I'm wearing a red lipstick or a nude lipstick. Like, okay, can you the other lipsticks? Anyway, yeah. This one and this one, when I mix... Like, when I do an ombre lip, I look so good. So, yeah, another nude lipstick that you can try or if you would like is this one by Maybelline. Then oh, this one I got it from a page on Instagram called Beauty Plug. I will tag them. I will tag every page here that I can. And then, like I said, recently got into lip gloss, and I have this lip gloss by DWG Beauty. Nobody asked, but guys, Debbie was my school daughter. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> also, subscribe to her channel and make sure you buy from her business. It's very moisturizing. Like I bought it this week, and it lasts very, very long, like for very long. And my lips are no longer chapped. My lips are kind of chapped sometimes, but they're no longer chapped. Love, love this one. I will be buying it again. She's not advanced yet to put like numbers here of the names, but we'll see the first names here the next time. Yes. So yeah, that's it for body products. I think we can move to bags, shoes, etc. I'll just start with the one that's closest to me, which is this orange bag. I don't remember where I got it from, unfortunately. Like I think I can go there, but I don't remember the name. Because when I got this bag, I had gone to pick something else, and then I saw it, and then I was like, I'm gonna buy this bag. 
Mini bags are the key to my heart. If you want to impress me, if you are ever in doubt or confused about what to get me, get me a mini bag. Even a mini bag this size will make me the most excited female on this planet. So this bag, I really, really love the quality. It has a crocodile-ish feel, like croc something. I don't know what they call it in bag world, but it's that something. I like that. And of course, it comes with a, a candle that is removable. And this one, and my other favorite part is this opening part because it kind of resembles a parking bag. And then the inside is just like that. This bag was a thousand pop. Guys, if I remember where I got it from, I would definitely, definitely tag that page because I I found them some time back and then I forgot that thing. So, yeah. Now, let's move to something else. Let's just move to the clothes. I heard someone say clothes. Shan yeah. Stone, come here. So, this is currently my favorite pair of leather pants. Not like I have another pair to compete with, but this is my first pair of leather pants that actually fit, and I bought it online. Shout out to that page for having clothes that fit me. It is by a page called Leather Fit. They sell really, really good leather outfits, including this top. I got it from them. And if you're looking for leather jackets, leather skirts, leather dresses, leather corsets, leather bras, leather, leather, just check out that page. These pants were either 1500 or 1000. No, they were 1500. These pants were 1500. And the inside is like, it's not leather, so you won't get heated like outer to make a leather. 10 over 10. It's just leather pants, guys. It's nothing, nothing fancy, nothing more extra. It looks so nice. Ah, yeah. Then the other leather thing. <gasps> Guys, at least now I have two leather jackets. You know, every girl in Nairobi has one black leather jacket. At least I've added, now I have two. Um, and it is this maroon. I don't know what length to use to describe it, but it's, it's this maroon or burgundy. One of the two colors. And then it reaches just below my but um and it fits me also but this one i got it on the streets of nairobi in cbd i will describe that place see where sasamol is i think it's sasamol one of the two sas or sam there's a guy who sells leather jackets there he's light skin that's the only description i have guys if you're looking for leather jackets just go there and check the thing the my favorite thing about this leather jacket is one it's off the street and it's very very well constructed and it's that thick leather it's not the leather that is going to run or tear it's the hard leather and it comes with buttons in the inside it had no button missing yani it's just the perfect leather though i don't understand why it has buttons inside i don't know maybe it's a leather thing i don't know i really really don't And this was only a thousand more guys. My new leather jacket. Let's move to my shoes now that I currently like and I am very, very much obsessed. And when somebody asks, asks which shoes are you wearing, I just pick either of the two. So, guys, I think we can just tell I am currently obsessed with Wednesday things because. I could see on my life Wednesday Adams would wear these shoes. I don't know what they're called, but this is my second pair and they are chunky and it's literally a heel and then they have this detail. And this shoe fits me like a glove. It's very, very comfortable and it was only 750. Now, somebody on my Instagram was telling me Nelly Gonga, but no, I don't think Nelly Gonga. This shoe looks new. So for 750, it's actually very okay. Again, I bought it on the street. Now that person who bought it, I, I bought it from, I don't really see them at that place because I walk there a lot. And so just walk around the streets of Nairobi, Uko River Road, Uko, Uko, Uko. You will probably find yourself as sure as nice as nice, but I can't guarantee you that. I'm meant for my shoes. 
the last pair of shoes is this black heels guys i had one pair no. Uh, but like that other black heel I used to miss using a lot so that shoe now has a helper and it is this heel it's a box it's a square let me see it's a square shape at the front so this is how it looks and this is how high it is I really really love this part of the heel how it's shaped and how it's constructed and also this gold detail on the heel and the first time this this shoes that are shaped this this way came out i really really didn't like them because i feel like they used to receive a lot of hate online so i was there also giving hate on those shoes but my feet actually in this box shaped heels so yeah i also got this from a shop in town i can take you there but i can't i can't describe it i can't take you there yeah so that's it for my favorites video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and probably you got oh there's one more item oh why am i forgetting it if i forget it i got a watch it's currently 7 15 guys i got me a watch this is my first watch that i have not lost in a week my mom used to get me watches when i was in primary in high school and i would lose them within the second day Probably because that was my money. Now that this is my money, I have kept it for a while and it feels so nice. Like when I don't have it on my hands, I feel weird. And I'm proud of myself for getting a watch, even if I don't use it that much. Like I like I like I just like feeling something on my hands and it is rose gold and then it has this gold two thingies over here. I got it from Retro Casio PE. It was thirty five hundred. And then it's adjustable so I don't have to wear a watch that is loose because I have small hands. Ah, yeah, and I also got several good reviews about that watch page because there are very many people, there are very many other popular watch brands that are around. But this one got many reviews because like many good reviews, even on Twitter, where Twitter is full of people who hate on things. So yeah. I got it and I like it so far so good. Um, yeah, my Maromini. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in up to this minute. If you have, um, yeah. uh, please make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, and I will see you guys during my next upload. If that is the correct term to use. And always remember to take care of yourselves.